Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this 10.4 inch uh, HMI display from CCFL to our UB36 series LED kits. So this kit comes including one L strips, one wire adapters, and one drivers. Let's set aside, take a look at the brand. Um, here is the back, here is the front. Orisiki 10.4 inch MSC803. Okay, so let's um, let me turn it on my. Um, well, first thing we, we would like to test it first. So let me turn so on my, my power supply, supply 24 volt power supply, and um, we're going to take a look before we replace it. So this is black ground, this is 24 volt. Okay, flip over. Oh, you can see something. See a little bit. Let me shut off the overhead light. That way you can see better. It's a monochrome one. Um, it's pretty dim. Okay. All right. So now we have look at it. The monitor looks okay. At least if you display everything. And next step would be we have to remove one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine nine screws then we also had to remove this cables in order to access screens okay this is the last screw take it out next thing we're going to push this a little bit push downward downward to take to remove this uh, i said that's a touch screen ribbon cable a little bit here a little bit here now we take it out Take it out. So let's say, oh, it's one more screw here. I forgot to remove it. And also, there's a space that we can take it out. Okay. Now we can slowly take it out. Oops. Oh. There's one more here. I'm sorry. Two main screws. Okay. So now we can take it out. Easy. Don't be careful, don't damage the the weaving touch weaving cable. Now we can set aside this uh, touch screen. And up front, here's the screen. There's four screw. Uh, this is the cable that uh, we have to after we remove the screw, then uh, the four screw remove it, this can connect the last cables. screws out, leave it up. Oops, forgot to show you this. This is, you need to also disconnect it first. This is the backlight connectors. Okay, so you need to disconnect it. Two up. Okay. Yeah, this is the backlight connector. So that way, you can take, take it out, bend it like this way. Now you need to disconnect it. The cable, okay? Just pull it, be really careful, gentle, take it out. So we set that up LED first, we had to remove the backlight lamp. This wire was holding by two, uh, you see there's two uh, tips. Okay, we set that aside here. And uh, this is the backlight. And then if you look at carefully, all these clips will be straight out to take it out. And I believe that she took, there's two screws also needed. The last clip, flip over. Remove these two screws, two tiny screws. Okay. Two screws. And we have to take out the, probably the front metal. I'm gonna take it out like this. You be careful. Okay, take it out like this. See this? Okay. Now the lamp is here. I believe I can took this just back cover out, I believe. Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Just separate carefully. I want to show you something. Carefully separate this two plus front plastic and back plastic. Just let this sit, sit, lay it down. Take it easy. And just one at a time. Take it out. Oh. The lamp is here. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna set aside 
the lamp is here. I'm going to set aside here. Okay. The lamp is here. So our inverter, I mean, uh, LED strip should mount back like that. Just like that. So we take it out. Take it out. Just like that. Perfect. You see this? Just like that. But I'm going to get a little bit alcohol, clean it. And then pure Q-tip, have a little bit alcohol, clean it. And I'm going to mount it like this. Yeah. Okay. Peel it off. Just push it. Just push it to the plastic. I think that should be fine. Just push it. And let it stick to it. The wire come up the side. You see? Okay. So let's try to put it back here. I think this is the yeah, there's two screws should be on this side, yeah. You just snap, basically just have to snap it back. Okay, there at this side. So when you snap back, snap it back, be careful because I messed up a, a little bit on this end, so that's why I think it's a wire. Now it's all in. I'm gonna put it back, hold it, keep holding, keep holding. And then put it back here. Make sure. The first thing is I want to put back two screws first here. Okay, two tiny screws that holds a plastic film. So it took me for a while to figure out what happens. This plastic was, they have a separate plastics. Okay, now let me put this two screws. Then you can push back, feel it like it's already in place, and you just bend this all this click back to the same location. And then Hello, we have just finished uh, install upgrade LED uh, kits to this uh, screen, 10.4 inch screen. But I find out there's a couple of things you have to be keep, uh, pay attention is that when you remove this metal cover out and remove the back plastic, up front, top, and bottom, there are two separate plastic sticks. So when you put, put push this one back, sometimes we push this stick off the place. That's why that's the only thing that you need to be uh, pay attention on. Well, we just finished the LED upgrade, so we're gonna try to put it back here. And then I also clean the LCD too on this side. Clean it first, and then we're gonna connect this cable back. Okay. push all the way in okay so basically we're gonna just put the screw back this one we're gonna stick it out probably here then because the, the the inverter is here the old inverter so we're gonna probably put it out well here okay so we're gonna put the screw back and go back to the other side to finish the installation uh, uh, let me finish and we can test it chassis we're gonna set this one here flick over Holding, okay, the wires here, this one's, I believe, should come out from here. Yeah. And then the other end is here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful, you don't want to damage that weaving cable. Here we go. So this is the old inverter. We're gonna put this wire back and remove this one. And then I got first I'm gonna put all the screw back first. So I just put the, all the screw back and the weaving touch weaving cable back and let's take a look at this inverters here. This is the inverter of your inverters. Um so this is usually I would mount it back to the same location as you can see the beginning of the video, we have a wire adapter, right? This is three pin, you just connect the three pin, just like this. And then I would like to remove this see wave and mount it. Or maybe you can just tell you what I just want to remove this thing, just mount by the same location. It's more 
Yeah, see this? I can take this inverter out and mount back to the same location. I so think that's I just more took out the, uh, the inverter here. Uh, you desolder the wire, but if you do not have a solder station with you on the field, then you can simply use a wire cutter get underneath to cut it off. Okay, either way. So we're gonna put it back. Uh, take a look here. And what we do is we're gonna mount the screw. See, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna peel off. Sticker here. This one is I'm gonna go like underneath this ribbon cable here. Like this. Stick to it and this end connect to here. Put back the back cover. Okay, just peel it off. Just stick to it. It won't short any. This end connect to here. This cover would be a little bit tricky. I forget about this because this one you can cut off a little bit or you can just leave it as is. I'm gonna cut off this a little bit. So this is aluminum cover. I just use it cut it to cut it off. Now we can kind of put it back, yes. And then put two screw back. And then uh, you're gonna take a look. Okay, it's pretty bright actually. I'm not sure. Let me show you. It's actually really bright. Remember, this is the monochrome. Okay. Thank you for watching.